All right, there we go. Looks like we're. Did it work? It, it takes it takes a second on Webinar Jam. <laughs> It'll have like a little going live thing. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, looks like we're good on StreamYard. So, welcome on social here. We're live on Facebook, YouTube, all over the place. Here we go. Now there we we're go. On Webinar Jam. Fantastic. All we're right. Live. Boom! Welcome everybody. Excited to do this. Welcome to uh, you know we're officially officially over halfway here. Welcome to day four uh, for for uh, you know focus on kind of the, this next phase of the challenge. But um, you know, it sounds like hopefully everybody had a good weekend. I know uh, David it sounds like you had a good one, but I on our I had a good weekend. Yeah, about you? Know, yeah, we had um, my six year old competed in his first uh, ninja competition. You know, the little ninja warrior stuff that he does. So, yeah. uh, he had his first competition on Sunday where he was in the the older the six through eight division, the, the older kids division. So it was fun, man. It was it was a blast. Yeah, that, that sounds like a blast. I wish they would have had that when my kids were little. No kidding. Yeah. Like yeah. that's uh that's been really fun. Did that, did you know, some swimming and stuff. So yeah, had a lot of good quality family time. But yeah. I just mentioned to uh, Matt before we uh, hopped on here that uh next week I'm going to Key West for a couple of days. So they'll yeah. there'll be no wholesaling, but Probably some drinking involved. So. <laughs> there you go. You and your son, you said? Yeah, me and my son. Good bonding time. There we go. Oh, no. hey, we, we actually went down, him and I went down for uh, his 21st birthday, which was a pretty wild time. I bet. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the first time we've been back since then. So. Nice. It will be a blast. We'll enjoy that. And uh, everybody in the chat, too, I know um, David's down in Florida. Um, there, uh, JS, there were not trainings on the weekend. How, how we had this structure, we'll go through this as well. Uh, you know, we had the day one kickoff, right, was was Friday last week. Uh, day two and three were over the weekend, and that was really focused on having you guys get out there, take action, do the homework. So we'll go through today a recap of what that homework was, a recap of that day one training uh, in case you either in case you missed it or, you know, help you pick up more pro tips and pick up things that you continue to learn and get better at this. Um, and then we'll get into the kind of the day four training for kind of part two, really focused on how to reach out to sellers, too. So, um, you know, we, we didn't have any live trainings over the weekend. It was more execution focused for you guys. So, um, but yeah, um, recap, recap would be good. So everybody knows, knows what's happening. Yeah, exactly. So we'll make sure to go through that recap today. Um, we'll, again, send out the replay for you guys, too, of this one and the last one. So you'll, you'll have all that stuff ready to go. If uh, if you're on social media watching right now, if you're on YouTube or Facebook, um, I know we're streaming a couple places right now, uh, go to that dealmachine.com slash toolbox challenge. Um, it's not too late to sign up. You know, you can jump in and, and catch up from today and from, uh, you know, last Friday. You can knock out that homework within, you know, now until our final day seven training. Um, you know, then you're going to still qualify for the grand prize. So, hey, jump in there and, and uh, you know, get things done here, guys. But um, I know I was mentioning David's in, in, in uh, Florida. I am in St. Louis. So put in the chat where you're based in. Um, it's always a great, great way to meet each other, to potentially meet future business partners, you know, JV deals together, uh, team up together in, in the chat like that. So um, use that. And, and uh, you know, I'm uh, excited to do this again, man. Yeah. Okay, put my put my location in here for anybody who doesn't know. There we go, St. Pete Beach. There we go. Uh, not a bad spot. <laughs> not a bad spot. <laughs> Love it down here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know. I need to get down there again and uh, you know be able to hang out in person. Yeah, man, get back down. We'll go back to um, go back to one of our spots. Go back to yeah. uh, Caddies or something. Caddies is great. Yeah, the place is fantastic. But. Um, well, nice. Uh, awesome. So again, this is day four of the challenge. So first of all, I uh, wanted to say great job so far. Uh, this is a screenshot of just a few people who sent in the, the homework to me. Um, you know, we had a bunch of people who were turning in, which again, make sure to pay attention to your email. Um, you know, we go through and we want to make this as a, a as, as actionable and bite sized for you guys as possible, but still push you. You know, it's not, it's not easy. It's a challenge for a reason, right? But we want to give you those exact steps of what to take, how to get out there, how to start getting on that fast track to your first deal. Um, that's what day one was all about, was about finding those, those motivated sellers and how to build that list, which again, we're going to go through some examples today. And I mean, that's how David got started as well. You know, I'll, I'll have him talk about his, his story a yeah. little bit here too. 
And then um, today's, okay, now that you have that list, what, where do we go from there? What do we do with that list? How do we continue to take action from here? So um, helping you down that road, helping you get these small wins, and these small wins are going to add up to big wins here too. So you guys are, are hitting the halfway point. You're, you're you know, on the second training out of three lives, you know, and uh, uh, day, day, again, this is day four. Day five and six are going to be focused on taking action, on executing on the homework. Day seven is going to be, hey, recap, get get everything together, do a grand grand prize giveaway, and how do you go from here? So, um, is, is there anything I missed right there, David? You think, or uh, you know, I don't no, know I think you hit, you hit it. I'm going to put the uh, somebody just asked for the uh, toolbox link, so I'm going to throw that in yeah. there for everybody. Perfect. And everybody, I, I mentioned this on um, on uh, Friday that I uh, I'm right in the middle of redesigning the toolbox and and i actually launched it a little bit early just so it was done for this you know this uh, seven day challenge but um so the you know new design we're adding content as fast as we can but there's the uh the link to the wholesale toolbox if you want to look at that after we get done here and then um during this event i'm going to drop the uh, links for uh, contracts, the contracts and videos that I promised, some scripts for uh, talking to sellers, talking to buyers, and uh, for the free website I'm giving everybody. So links yeah. to come. You're giving away a ton of free stuff, which is awesome. Yeah, a ton of free stuff. That's what that's what the toolbox is all about. Free stuff. There we go. I like that. <laughs> uh yeah, so so for sure, stick around for that. Um, again, today, really kind of uh, you know for the agenda, we're going to go through and just kind of recap that day one in the homework and do that that first giveaway. You know, we're doing a, uh, an initial giveaway for everybody who who did turn in the homework before we went live today. So we uh, I've randomly picked one of you guys out. You know, put all the names in a uh, you know in a spreadsheet and did a random number generator and got one winner for today. Um, right. And then we're going to talk through the trainings and how to enter for that grand prize giveaway, which that's worth over eighteen hundred dollars just from the deal machine side and free stuff, not to mention all the stuff that you're giving away for, you know, uh, you know, all the contract scripts, everything for free there. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I do think um, we talked about this a little bit last time, but why now is just such a great time to get into this where, you know, really in general, the market is in such an uncertain place. Um, it's, you know, crazy in some places it's, it's been, I mean, the last year plus has been quite a roller coaster, um, especially depending upon where you are in the country. Uh, so right now, and really in, in any time like this, anytime there's a time of uncertainty, you know, any kind of downturn, anything like that, hey, we are more valuable as a real estate investor, as a wholesaler, because we are offering certainty. You know, we're offering solutions for people who might be more motivated right now. You know, they might be needing things like, hey, what, they need to move quickly. They need to move as is. They need to move in a convenient way. You know, people are willing to trade speed and convenience and, and you solving a problem like they can't list it or, you know, what have you um, for a discount for a great deal for you coming in and being that solution for them. So um, there are more motivated sellers right now out there than, you know, in the in the recent memory. Um, and we're looking, we're deal finders, not deal makers, right? We're, we're finding those, those sellers, offering them a solution, which we'll talk about today on how to have those conversations, how to market to those people. That's really kind of the, the meat of what we're going to be talking about today. And then, um, Hey, you're, you're, uh, you know, able to be, you know, uh, offer a fantastic, uh, uh, you know, solution for them. And you know, that's the value we're providing to the market right there. And right now is the time to step up and take action on that. So, um, you know, I talked, I know we talked about that last time. You know, where most investors have trouble getting started is they just don't know where or how to find a great deal, you know, where or how to find those motivated sellers. And so, you know, that was our goal over these seven days, you know, over these uh, seven days starting last Friday was to train you up on that playbook to give you the playbook and give you this chance, this opportunity to go out there and transform your financial life, to take action to, you know, especially if you've been on the sidelines waiting for like the right time to do this or waiting for, you know, you, uh, you know, something to really give you a, a little bit of an extra push to, to kickstart you, to put you on that fast track. Hey, you know, that's what these seven days are all about is to give you that playbook, give you those, those uh, action steps in front of you. And we've had people go through this and have amazing responses to this, like Mark right here, who went through this challenge, said it transformed his life in a positive way and said it made memories that will last a lifetime. You know, he went out there and did this with his family and took action and, and has continued on that path, uh, you know, starting in March. 
Um, you know, Jared right here was another one who he said he he don't he doesn't think he'd ever get on the horse and take action without this very specific you know uh, playbook over these seven days. So that's what we've been trying to share. That's what we're trying to accomplish for you guys. And you know, finally here Santiago saying, hey, as long as you take small consistent actions daily, you know anything's possible. So. Um, that's what we're trying to train you guys to do, train to help you uh, uh, know exactly what to do and what what the right actions are to take um, to find those people to have the right conversations and to be you know one of the 10,000 plus people who have landed deals using Deal Machine. You know, we, we also had people turn in the homework who did it by hand. That's great, too. You can also do that hustle that way. Again, we're on the Deal Machine front. We've really focused on giving you a software and a tool to make it just much easier, much more efficient, much more effective to get out there and build that list. But by no means did we come up with this. By no means is this something that, you know, this was, this has been around. We, we took a process and, and added technology to it. Right. Um, so, you know, you can get out there and continue that process, whether you're using deal machine or not, and, you know, use the playbook that again, over 10,000 people have done using deal machine to go out there and land deals like this. So, um, you know, it was people like this, like Ryan Haywood, we use it as an example, he went through a 30 day version of this and on 17, uh, 17 days in, he landed his first deal. Um, he's done over 400 deals using the old machine since then. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Very focused on wholesaling him and his wife and a small team now in the Kansas city, uh, Missouri area, just, just North of that, I believe is St. Joseph. Um, Cody's another one, which we saw people do this virtually as well, which is awesome. Like, you know, that virtual driving for dollars approach uh, is what Cody did here, where he was uh, based in San Diego, but investing back in Milwaukee, back where he was from. Um, you know, so he, so he did this and he's been doing deals consistently, landing, you know, a couple deals a month doing this, doing the stuff we're teaching you guys. Um, Patrick's one more example, who's somebody that was actually sleeping in his truck, trying to figure out what to do uh, with his financial situation, started to really take action, jump into this, you know, learn about real estate, learn about using this tool. And then actually taking action on it, of building that list, reaching out to people like we're going to talk about today and did 14 deals over 150 K in wholesale fees in less than a year. So um, it's really, really cool. He said deal machine changes life. That is what our goal is with this, with this challenge is to put you guys on a path to get out there, to take action and to, you know, change, you know, what, uh, wherever your ambitions might be on the financial side. So David, do you want to talk about briefly before we get into the, the rest of this week about your story in terms of like, you know, you're, yeah, you're, I was, you know, I was thinking when you were, when you were going over the, you know, the, the different people and the, you know, mm-hmm. how they had changed their lives. And I, and I was thinking it's not just a financial change in your life. I mean, you know, it's one thing to struggle and to pay your bills and to, you know, to worry about money. But, but when you get into something like this, if, if you haven't done anything like this before, it really changes everything about your life. Not just taking the, the financial pressures off, but like, you know, I had a lot of crappy jobs when I was young and, you know, I'm sure you probably did too, Matt, but, <laughs> but you, you get in, you know, you know, you've just got the stress of work all the time. Right. And, you know, and like, you know, being to work on time and you're, you know, your boss on you or, you know, just a grueling day or whatever. And one of the things that I really liked about wholesaling when I started and to this day is, you know, before I got into it, I was rehabbing houses and I, you know, I had, you know, like all these investors I was rehabbing for and, you know, the pressure of that and, you know, managing the crews and worrying about people breaking into houses and all that. And I started wholesaling and like all that was off me. Right. And it was so Mm -hmm. enjoyable just to go out and get in my car and I'd go, you know, I'd go grab a, you know, an iced coffee from, you know, Dunkin' Donuts or something. And I'd just drive around and look for houses. I, you know, I'd leave notes and I, you know, contact them, do my marketing. But then when somebody would call, you know, I'd have a good conversation with them because people calling you off of this kind of marketing, they're ready to sell, right? They're, you know, they're like, hey, got a house, you were by it. You know, I want to do something with it. I would go over and see them. And, uh, and, you know, we'd have a good talk, you know, good conversation about their house, you know, if it was a good fit for them, you know, I'd make them an offer on the house, but it was just fun. You know, it was Mm -hmm. just, I was making a good money, really good money, but it was just fun to do. Right. So, um, you know, talking about my story, that's, that's how I got into it. I kind of briefly hit on it, but I'd done a lot of things. I'd been in sales for years uh, selling industrial equipment. I sold forklifts and, and, uh, construction equipment, got into the real estate, got, got my real estate license for a hot minute, decided that wasn't 
really my gig driving people around to look at houses. So I, you know, I thought, you know, I need to do something else. So I did mortgage for a while and got, you know, did well in the mortgage business. But then I got into wholesaling or got into the investment side of it, I should say. I started um, uh, inspecting properties. I started rehabbing properties and then went into wholesaling. But the investment side was so much more fun than the retail side of real estate, right? It's, you know, mortgage, I was sitting in an office all day. Um, you know, real estate, you're driving people around looking for houses. That, like I said, that wasn't really my gig. But the investment side's fun, right? It's mm -hmm. like you're out, you're you're on the ground, you're doing it, you know, you're going and, you know, having fun. And I really Absolutely. like it. So that's, yeah. my, that's my story. Yeah, I think... I. I do agree. Like, I do think it bleeds into kind of the rest of your life too, especially when you, you know, if you're take going out here and kind of implementing this, this system, uh, the discipline that it takes, the consistency it takes, you getting out there and doing this over yeah. and over and kind of building that as part of your routine. I mean, that can, that a lot of times we see it bleed over into people with like, you know, their, their personal health and other areas of their life where they're just starting to be able to free up more time, be able to, uh, you know, invest in these other areas of their life and also take that discipline to it as well. So yeah. Um, that was similar to David's story. I know we talked about that last week. David Lecco, our CEO and founder, where you know he was just he created Deal Machine to solve his own problem to to go out there and try to go off market and try to find more sellers and get in touch with them more often. Um, and you know he built his own financial freedom that way and really was able to spend that more time with his family, with his friends. You know, getting going the traveling and getting things that he loved. Um, you know, because it, you know, real estate gave him that freedom. So um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm this, with you, man. This could you know. So I want to touch on that for, for everybody that's in here. Dave, David went that route and David still invests and, and he, mm -hmm. you know, he built the app and all that, but David got, you know, he had that background. So he got into software, right? Mm -hmm. When I started doing it, you know, and after I, you know, were, was out doing deals and everything, I put together the wholesalers toolbox and started having a website and, and helping people with this. But when you get into real estate like this or get into wholesaling, you don't know where it's going to go. Everybody on this call today, you could, you know, you could build a big wholesaling company. Uh, I talked to one guy a while back and he said, you know, I got into wholesaling through your website and now I do um, uh, commercial real estate. I do like these multi-million dollar, you know, commercial deals, but you don't know where this is going to go. You could have your own property management company. You could end up being a developer, you know, whatever. So that's what's exciting about this it's you're you're going to get into to real estate into wholesaling and learn all these skills and then you know god knows where you're going to yeah, they can apply this in so many like ways pride, you know yeah absolutely uh that's awesome yeah that's a great point too yeah, yeah and that's kind of you know with with this entire you know focus yeah we had one live training to begin with but like you said having that knowledge having that kind of you know step-by-step -step, you know playbook and those action steps to take we gave it to you guys kind of, you know, to start off, you know, first in uh, day one, which again, we'll go through a quick recap of that. Um, I'll make sure it's quick. So that way, you know, you guys can, can watch the replay if you want a deeper dive, but we'll, we'll recap that first day to begin with. So that way you um, can really solidify that really pick up some more pro tips, pick up some things that you maybe, uh, you know, uh, really kind of tweak your process that you had over the weekend, right? If you're getting out there and completing the homework. So, um, you know, we'll continue to help you iterate on that, help you get better at that. Um, you know, today's again, talking about, okay, what do you do with those leads? You know, how do you reach out to those sellers? How do you get in touch with them? And then the final training is going to be on day seven on Thursday. So day five and six in between is going to be all dedicated toward taking action toward doing, getting out there, doing your homework. Again, pay attention to your email. Uh, if you're, if you're not getting those from me, um, here's my email again, Matt at dealmachine.com. So reach out to me direct if uh, you're not getting those emails from me for any reason. And that way I can help you out there and make sure you are continuing to, to be in the loop on, on the replays, the, the giveaways, all that stuff. Um, and then final piece was, uh, you know, we're giving away again, over $2,500 in free stuff with the grand prize giveaway being on uh, Thursday on the, on, uh, you know, day seven. And you have to actually be there to win that one. So you got to be on live Thursday, same time. So 4 PM Eastern time. Uh, in order to qualify for that final giveaway, and 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 you know if you if you do win, uh, you got to be on live to claim it too. So uh, make sure to show up. And everybody, there. there's the, there's not a thousand people on this call, right? I mean, like we yeah. got like a fair amount of people, but there's there's not hundreds. A real right? shot. You've got a really good chance at winning this, right? So be back Thursday because you know it's these are good odds. 
Absolutely. And, yeah. and if you're watching on social, again, make sure it's dealmachine.com slash toolbox challenge. Uh, that's where you can jump into this and be able to, to turn in the homework and show up for the last live and all that stuff. So right. yeah. um, you, you guys are there. Good, good shot. So yeah. um, the homework today, so to go over this first, right before we get into the, the actual trainings, the homework that was due today. So we gave you kind of these action steps here. It was get out there. And if you're going to use deal machine is dealmachine.com slash toolbox challenge or slash toolbox rather. Uh, to get that seven day free trial. So get out there and that's, we're going to get those special bonuses of free marketing credits and things like that inside your account. Um, you know, we, we go over that at the end here again for you. Um, and then the real action step was go out there and build a list of 100 driving for dollars leads. You know, again, whether you're using, you know, doing it by hand or using deal machine to do it. Um, how to go do that. Again, we'll go over that in the training again. But we had quite a few people finish the homework. It was awesome to see you guys get out there, get engaged, put in the, you know, put in that hustle over the weekend. Like that is fantastic, especially you know this time of year. Like I love to see that you guys are getting out there and, and following through, and you know, not just sitting back, uh, you know, in the summer there. Uh, so our our first giveaway winner again, it comes from somebody who did the homework, and I had all those people you know tallied up into a, a spreadsheet did a random number uh, selector right before I got on here. So first giveaway winner, drum roll please here, David. <laughs> and giveaway winner is James Alexson. Uh, Alexson. There we go. So hopefully I pronounced your last name correctly, James. Uh, if you are on here, say, uh, give us a little celebration. Oh, yeah, chat is here. he on here? It, uh, he, he went, this one you can win either way. He's so on here. He is on here. There James, we go. I see him. Yeah. James, awesome. on. James is on here. Boom. Everybody give him a little bit of round of applause here. Yeah, there we go. Wow. He just jumped in. He sent a private message and said, wow. Congratulations, <laughs> man. So nice job, James. There we go. That that is for again, everybody give him a little bit of a, a congratulations. I know even if you didn't didn't win the prize, you know, hey, again, the real prize here is to go out and go land that first deal and land many after this. But you know, now, James, you've got the an entire year of deal machine to help you. You've got a ton of marketing credits for free to help you there. Um, you know, we're gonna give you we're gonna after this, I'll make sure you're you're hooked up with all that stuff through our support team. So good work, guys. Uh, and can you know, congrats to everybody else who put in the work to qualify for this even. Like you you're taking the right steps to get there. You're 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 much, much further along on this fast track than you were even four days ago. So uh, you know, you guys are are having, you know, again, all these small wins will add up to bigger wins too. So there we go, James. Uh, you know, no problem, man. Love to see it. So now uh, everybody else don't hop off here because there's a lot. There's a lot of free stuff to come. So oh yeah, this, this is just the beginning. James one, yeah, <laughs> just the beginning right here. So uh, congrats to everybody for finishing that homework. Keep taking action on this to again to qualify for that grand prize. We'll give you the homework for today. Um, you know, after we go through these trainings. So uh, thanks for supporting them in the chat, there, everybody. Yeah, awesome, absolutely. Guys. That's nice, awesome. everybody. Yeah. There we go. Um, that's, that's the cool thing too. I don't know if you noticed this too, David, but I mean, like, it seems, it seems like the, the real estate industry, while we all, yes, can be going for, for similar deals. Like there's so many like go givers, I would say in the space yeah. of people looking to team up and looking to do deals together and looking to, to, to be business partners together. That it is, it is inspiring to see stuff like this where people, everybody's jumping in and, and, uh, you know, giving them some congrats. So one, I mean, we've talked about that on other, other events we've done. The yeah. key to success in this business is is teaming up and networking with other people, mm -hmm. right? It's because you're, you're so scared to get out there and do it a lot of times. It's like it's so different and overwhelming and everything. If you can go driving with dollars for somebody and just say, hey, let's you're in my town, you know, you're new, I'm new for the, you know, let's let's learn this together and let's do the first four or five deals together. Right. And, and then we'll like sit back and say, Hey, do you don't know, want do we want to keep working together? We want to go our separate ways, but it's easier to go see sellers. It's easier to talk to buyers and everything when you've got a partner beside you. Right. Because it's not as scary when somebody's with you. So, Oh yeah. You can find somebody in your town that's new, go have lunch, go, you know, go have a hamburger together go drive to, you know, dollars together, whatever, but uh, makes a difference. It really does. And, and I mean, I think just the nature of real estate too, it's a relationship business, right? So I, I think like that attracts people who are open to coming in and helping each other and, and build real relationships like that. So yeah, um, yep. cool. Um, 
Awesome. So again, we're going to breeze through day one. I'm going to throw a lot at you really quick right here because we went through this on a deep dive last call. So make sure to to watch that replay if uh, if you haven't yet. Um, if you're here for kind of, you know, uh, uh, you know, if you were at the last one and you're here again, um, try to pick up something different this time. You know, I, you know, I try to throw out a lot of pro tips for you guys as well um, and just share like what's what's been working well for people. So um all right. And Annette, uh, so t- deals, uh, deals working on primarily you're seeing wholesale. Um, but, but really, I mean, this method of going off market and, and buying, right. Like no matter what your exit strategy is, whether it's wholesale flipping, buy and hold, what have you, like, th- you know, this is the, a key, uh, success factor across all of them. Right. So Heck, even if you're uh, you know, even if you're a, a real estate agent yeah. looking for listings, right. Mm-hmm. Real estate agents could learn a huge lesson from wholesalers because oh, wholesalers yeah. just get out there and market and real estate agents could get listings the same way, but a lot of them don't. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's a whole nother, whole nother, whole nother, whole nother yeah. uh, webinar. <laughs> um, all right, guys. So day one, again, quick recap for you. So what we talked about day one was building your list of motivated sellers. And the magic number we gave you, as you just saw, was getting to 100, 100 leads uh, within this challenge to be able to market directly to those sellers. Um, if you're going to use Deal Machine to help you out, there's that free trial at the bottom there, dealmachine.com slash toolbox. Um, I'll put it in the webinar jam here now for you too, to make it easy for you. But, you know, try it out there if you uh, want to use that to help you out, you know, in executing on this stuff. But, um, you know, the main, the main method that we talked to you about in day one was driving for dollars, which again means to physically get in your car, to drive around your area, to look for those rundown houses, you know, the houses that have, you know, the tarp on the roof, the gutters falling off, you know, broken board up windows, you know, siding having issues, just a mess in the front yard, backyard, really, you know, overgrown grass, really overstuffed mailboxes, you know, signs that it's a vacant house like that. Um, you know, uh, uh, I used this example last time, but our first hire, Josh, he landed a deal uh, driving around when it was March and he found Halloween decorations up and said, hey, they've missed a few holidays. Maybe maybe they don't want to keep with this property. And turns out he was right. So things like that are what you're looking for. Just signs that it's a, it's a rundown property. Um, is there anything, David, that I missed there? I, I know you, you gave a lot of really good. Yeah, signals. man. And like I mentioned on Friday, you know, even, you know, you, you know, you mentioned high grass and, and decorations and stuff, but like I mentioned Friday, even the absence of personal of items, right. Cause mm-hmm. I've gone by properties and the, you know, the grass yep. is cut and yeah. you know, it looks all right, but then you notice there's no, there's no porch furniture. There's no plants. There's no hose on the side of the house. And, you know, come to find out, uh, you know, it's empty. One of my best deals ever was uh, looked just like that. It looked like somebody lived there. I mean, it was clean. It was it was nice. But I'm like, there's just nothing. You know, there's no car. There's no trash cans. There's no nothing, you know. And uh, I had it under contract the next day. It was a lay down deal. But those are the ones, you know, everything you you just have to look for. Be a be a detective. Right. It's like, yeah, yeah. it doesn't look right, you know, it's so, yeah. 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 So that's, that's what you're looking for there. And uh, Annette too, uh, to answer your question, I know if you don't have a car physically driving around, we also have a couple other options. We went through how to do that virtually and then how to add drivers as well. So I'll, I'll show that off briefly here. Um, jumping in the app, as we talked about, like you're driving around, you're looking for, you know, f- for rundown houses where um, let me toggle over to the satellite view. That's another option here. Um when you do that inside the app right here, you're going to see, here you go, all these all these black dots popping up around you. And, you know, all those are just houses around you that you can then, here, let me let this load, having a little bit of a slow internet here today. Here we go. All these black dots around you right here are all individual properties that if I click on one of them, you'll see, you know, hey, 3527 Connecticut Street, you can see it's corporate owned. Cool. If it's a rundown house, corporate owned, maybe they're a tired landlord or maybe they're, you know, somebody who doesn't want to deal with this anymore. Cool. Hit add lead and move on to the next one. So as simple as that, as you drive around in real life, the app locks on your location, you drive down the street, you know, you add leads as you're going, you see a property, you see the address, you hit it, you know, hit add lead inside deal machine. Um, you can even have the, there's a, a kind of a point to add mode inside the app too, which, which is newer, um, where you can literally, if you point your phone at the property, the address will pop up right there, which is pretty cool. Um, it's another option inside deal machine to make it easy for you logistically as you're driving around. Um, 
But again, you know, that was kind of the goal to start with is you're driving around, you're looking for those fixer uppers. And, and the main reason being that, hey, you know, uh, when you're driving for dollars, the properties that you find this way, they don't easily pop up on a list that anyone can pull. You know, pulling a list that's can take a few minutes, really, really simple and easy, you know, a high equity absentee owned list or, or what have you, anything like that, super easy to get a hold of, takes way, way more of those leads to get to your first deal versus driving for dollars. You're finding those hidden hidden gems. You're finding those houses that other people aren't already talking to, making them the least competitive leads out there on top of being the most motivated because they have a rundown house. Um, so they are just by far the best bang for your buck uh, uh, quality lead. And that's why we're focused on getting you guys out there and finding those types of properties to begin with. Yeah. Annette, uh, the, the, this is he showing you the deal machine app. If you click on the offers button there with the red dot on it and go in there and just click on the, click on the link, it's going to take you to deal machine. So you can check that out. Oh, you saw it. Okay. She there saw you go. It. Cool. cool. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah. Simple and easy as that. Uh, you know, as you're driving down the street as well, um, you can look at more data around that property owner. You can click on it and you'll be able to jump in and see like, hey, you know, what was the sale date, sale price, assessed value, sometimes some mortgage information like, you know, things like this. Um, you know, you've got bed, bath. This was a 10 unit uh, property. You've got, you know, zoning, uh, uh, you know, and all kinds of stuff, lien information, all kinds of stuff in here. Um, so you've got a lot of data that you can also work with inside the app. But First and foremost, especially in this challenge, is just look for those rundown houses, add that, and keep on going. Um, you know, also within that, you have the virtual driving for dollars option. So, uh, you know, mentioned that earlier, but you just click start driving up here in the right corner. You click anywhere on the on the uh, street, hit start driving, and it's going to import Google Street Image right into Deal Machine for you. So that way, just like you would in real life. You're basically clicking for dollars here instead of driving and looking at a house and seeing like, hey, is it a rundown house? Okay, what's the condition of the property? Uh, you know, depending upon that, if it you know if it could uh, you know if it meets your criteria of, of you know a lot of overgrown stuff right here, hey, that's probably a pretty good one. Yeah. Um, hit add lead, move on to the next one, and keep on going. So you've got you know essentially a <laughs> a fun, easy, straightforward way to do it from anywhere in any market. You know, if even if you don't have a car, even if you're gonna invest, you know, in the other side of the country, if you're outside the U S and you're looking to invest inside the U S use this, like there are a ton of use cases for this. Um, you know, it's weatherproof, schedule proof. We've got people using virtual assistants using this. Yeah. I was going to mention that. Yeah. yeah. You can get a VA to do it or, you know, whoever, <laughs> you know, yeah. Or, you know, I would yeah. ask if you could talk to David, uh, let go, if you guys uh -huh. could hook this up to a game controller so I could literally drive, with like an <laughs> that would be awesome. Controller. That would be fun. <laughs> that would, I mean, it really is like, it feels like that a lot of times when you're just using it and you can do it on the phone as well. So it's kind of like yeah. you're playing a little mobile game. Um, again, I'm showing off everything on the website version, right? This is the web version of Deal Machine. But if you're out dry, physically driving, you're probably going to use the mobile app. Um, you know, everything you do on either of them syncs up instantly. Um, so the mobile apps is what's going to lock on your location and help you drive down the street and use uh, most likely. So, um, you know, and you'll notice bottom left corner, you've got like a little tail right here too. When I hit end, that's the route tracker. So it's showing you here's where I drove. Here's how many uh, leads I added. Um, you know, here's exactly which properties I added right here. Um, you know, here's a, a, a just basically a, a kind of a bird's eye view of the entire map. So that way I can figure out and see like, Hey, where have I driven and where do I need to drive next? And how do I make sure I never double back on a route and, you know, keep driving down the same street a million times. And, you know, I know you said you by hand used to just highlight those, those streets <laughs> like yeah. on a map. That's you can't that's, hardly even yeah. find those maps anymore. I used to get like the little uh, like city, city street map book, right. From, yeah. from the bookstore. And I'd get a highlighter and I would just work in this mark where, where I'd been, you know? Yeah. So doing it by hand is possible, but that's, you know, the goal with this technology is to help you save that time. Yeah. You know, in six months, it turns yellow and red, 10 months, it turn or 12 months, it turns red. So you can kind of look at the map and figure out where's it been a while since I've driven there. Um, you know, a couple last quick things here. Uh, people, especially if you're watching this and you haven't finished the homework yet, this map mode right here, switching that over to tap to add mode is a really, really helpful way that if you're driving around an area that's got a ton of physical distress, a ton of like rundown houses around you, you just click on those really quick here. And instead of having to view the property, it's just going to start pinning them like that for you and make it just really simple and easy to just go down the street and boom, 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 keep adding them. 
So that tab to add mode is big. Um, if you're on Deal Machine Pro, we talked about how there's a highlights button for pro members where you can essentially overlay the map with data and be able to look at things like foreclosures or, you know, absentee owner, you know, assumable mortgages, senior owner, tired landlord, pre-probate, or just create a highlight based on thousands of data points in here. You know, we've got MLS data for every single state, MLS sold data, like even the non-disclosure states like Texas and everything like that. It's all in here. Um, you know, property information, owner type, uh, you know, liens, again, all that stuff. So you could just come in here and say like, hey, yeah, show me, you know, all the absentee owned properties around me. And you'll see these highlights start to pop up around you and really notice like, okay, hey, is this a rundown house? And it fits all this data. Fantastic. Really good lead. Um, or let me look at the map and, oh, there's a cluster over here, a cluster over there. Let me start driving in those areas. That's a good, good way to kind of help you determine what parts of town to drive in. So um, the highlights button, super, super helpful. Uh, we had people doing the uh, adding drivers as well. So in the top right corner, click on your face, click on team. You can add drivers like an Elliot right here who just adds drivers, doesn't touch anything else in Deal Machine. And when he drives around, I can see exactly what routes he has gone up in this these route summaries right here, top right corner, and be able to search and say, hey, let me see where's Elliot driven. You know, back in January, he drove and added 21 leads, drove three miles, drove for about an hour. So you can just see a lot of really cool information like that and help team up with other people and drive with them inside your account. You know, so that way, Another option, if you're not based in that market physically, is to have somebody drive there for you. If you know somebody or if you can recruit somebody to do that for you. Um, or then, have we talked about with, uh, you mm -hmm. know, if you want to team up with somebody, right? And like, mm -hmm. you know, somebody else and you go, hey, I'll put you on my deal machine app. You know, I'll drive this neighborhood. You drive that neighborhood and then we'll market to all of them and all that. So you can, you know, you could put a JV partner on here with it. Oh, yeah. That's right. a great, I mean, that's fantastic. Like, especially if you're going to do the deal together, that's always great. Um, and then finally, uh, last uh, last thing I think we really touched on um, that you know, would be useful for, for people on this call, especially is kind of that that uh, Alma AI assistant that we've built inside Deal Machine 2. This is if you're on Deal Machine Pro, and let me zoom in a little bit here. You got, <laughs> got pins everywhere. Um we have uh, something that we launched about six weeks ago that we've done a, a video with you on YouTube, David, um, covering this as well. But um, mm -hmm. Alma, our AI assistant, which we'll, we'll talk about a little bit more today about how to use it for marketing. Uh, when you click on a lead, any kind of property inside the app, you're going to see, oh, let me switch back over to pin mode here. Um, if you're on our pin mode, you're going to see an, an option come up where you can chat with an AI assistant bot on the bottom right corner and do things like analyze the property, you know, uh, look at the ARV, um, ask it about how to get in touch with the seller, help it, you know, have it help you kind of craft messages to send the seller, like a text message or anything. So we'll touch on that here in just a little bit for the marketing training. But it was one last thing that make sure to rewatch that replay from last time. And we covered that in, in really kind of a deep dive session too, as well. So um Cool. And did, did I miss anything before we get into the, the real meat of this today? I don't think so. Cheryl asked how current the street views are. Um, th mm -hmm. Cheryl, that comes in from, from Google Streets. So it just depends on when they've last updated it. So, I mm -hmm. mean, it's not from that day, you know, of course. But you have to remember that a lot of times these properties set empty for a long time, right? Oh, so yeah. it's like, you know, if it, somebody moved out of it and it's between renters or something like that, you know, it might or might not pick that up. But, you know, if the property has, looks like it's been distressed for a long time, you know, there's a good chance that it's still going to be distressed. And then you could do, correct me if I'm wrong, Matt, but you mm -hmm. could do an overlay with like a, um, on the pro version with like vacant property data, right? Mm -hmm. and if it comes up as vacant and it still looks vacant, good chance that it's still vacant. So. That's a good tip. Yeah. I think I was gonna say my best tip is uh, when you look at a property, you'll see bottom right corner, it says photo taken January, 2022. Yeah. And what you can do is you, in which I would say the top 50, the you know top 50 or so markets are very often updated by Google more than you would think. Um, you know, it's probably within the last year or two. And especially if you can compare that photo taken date to the last sold date, mm 
So if you like look at this property and say, uh, say, hey, here's the condition of it, say it was really run down, for example. And then I look and see, hey, it hasn't been sold since January of 2015. Well, you know, this photo was taken January of 2022. And if the property is still in really bad shape, it's the same owner since when it was, you know, yeah. even though, uh, you know, it's a year old picture, year and a half old picture. If it's still the same owner and, you know, it was in bad shape, then good chances it's still in bad shape. So um, I would always compare that photo taken date to last sold date and to really understand, OK, is this uh, photo somewhat accurate in terms of representing, the, you know, the, the ownership of this? So, yeah. um, cool. Awesome. Cool. Um, well, to get into today. So that was, you know, again, if you want more information on any of those features or anything else that we talked about last time. I'll send out that replay again, you know, after today's uh, training, you know, for today, we're going to figure out, okay, now that we have gone in here, we have, uh, you know, built that list of leads, we have a hundred driving for dollars leads, or we're, you know, you're starting to work on that. You're just getting rolling. Uh, what, what do we do with those? You know, how do we take action on those? How do we, you know, how do we go from just having a list of addresses to real, real value, real conversations, and really actually talking to motivated sellers about doing a deal? Um, you know, the, the main things, and I'll run through this here, David, I know you, you've got a lot of uh, great advice on the marketing front too. Um, on my end, what I'll kind of start off with is uh, one, from a marketing uh, strategy perspective, what we see work really well looking at the data, uh, I would say having a mix of marketing channels to reach out to somebody. So establishing, if you can establish a couple that you're consistent with, consistency is the key here, a couple that you're consistent with, uh, it's not like a one plus one equals two type equation. It's almost like a one plus one equals five, where if you start reaching out and you reach out to somebody one way and then another way, so you called them and then you you know left a voicemail, uh, you left a, a note on their door and then you send mail to them. You know you're starting to seem a little like omnipresent. You're starting to get their attention in multiple ways, and you're giving yourself a chance to reach out to people who may not respond to you know a direct mail piece, but maybe they will respond to a text message, or they might respond to you know X Y Z. So um, you'll be able to layer in multiple strategies like this uh, does help for sure in terms of looking at the data. Um, also, uh, consistency and follow up. That one is if there's a secret sauce, you know, that's going to like separate you from the competition. That is it right there where uh, I know if we look at the data, if you send one marketing touch point to somebody and then they're going to sell their property, you still are missing out on the deal 85 percent of the time. If you're only reaching out one time, uh, if you only send three marketing touch points, to them, three times you reach, you're still missing out on the deal like 52 percent of the time. So it's still very, very much like, hey, uh, you know, if you can focus on a way to reach out multiple ways, especially with this two pronged approach where you can do short term marketing, which I'll get into here in a second and mix that with long term marketing, uh, which, you know, is focused on automation. I'll get on uh, you know, show you that as well. Uh, doing all of that together, it, looking at the data is where you're putting, you're setting yourself up for long term success. Yeah. Um, David, do you want to talk through to, before I jump into like the nitty gritties of how to do this? Could you, is there anything on the marketing front that you want to share that, um, you know, just to get how to, how to best get sellers attention, how to follow up with them, all of that? Yeah. I, I mean, and you're going to dive into it deeper, but I'll just say, you know, so when I started, it was, it was before I had deal machine when I started wholesaling. So my strategy was to tape a note on the door, right? So I had a letter that said, Hey, I'm a local investor doing another deal in your neighborhood. I was driving by your house, saw it was empty. Uh, if you're interested in you know, doing something with it, give me a call. I have my phone number on it. So I would put that letter in an envelope and I would write property owner on the envelope. And then I would take that blue painter's tape that you see at the you know, yeah. hardware store and I would tape it onto the front door, on the storm door or on the window or something like that. The reason why I use the blue tape was it was one, it won't damage the house in any way, right? So you're not gonna, if you put it on some window trim, it's not gonna pull it off or it's not gonna pull paint off the front door or something like that. And two, it's very visible, right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people would ask me, well, if the house is vacant, nobody's gonna get that, right? Well, that's not true because more times than not, when the house is vacant, either a neighbor's watching it a local relative's watching it, the homeowner's driving by it, or some somebody's got their eyes on that property. Even if it looks like garbage, somebody's watching that property. So always do that, right? Number mm -hmm. one, if you're going to the property, you know, you're, you're, you're 
plug, plugging it in deal machine. You're taking a picture so you can send out mailers or whatever. Tape a note to the door, right? That's one thing that you've got to do if you're there. And then, you know, and we're going to get into it, but, you know, send them, you know, taking a picture with the deal machine app. And I like the method where you turn around so you're in the picture and say, hey, you know, I'm interested in buying your house. And it's got you and the and the house in the picture, right? Goes yeah. on your postcard. You can send that. The skip tracing where you can, you know, you can call, you can, you know, you can text, you know, you can do all those things. That's important, right? And, you, you know, because you want to be different than everybody else. There are a lot of companies out there like the, you know, the We Buy Ugly Houses company or whatever that just sends out this mass marketing to everybody. They send out these fancy glossy postcards, but people don't respond heavily to that because it's, they know what it is. It's just mm -hmm. mass marketing. But if you do things like put a note on the door that's handwritten, right? The envelope's handwritten. Somebody gets that note, they're going to open it, right? There's a hundred percent chance they're going to open that note because, because, mm -hmm. You know, ask yourself if somebody taped a note to your house door. I mean, there's a hundred percent chance you're going to open it and read what it says, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, again, the the big companies aren't going to take a picture of themselves in front of your house, right? So you're doing all these things that are different, right? So yes. that's what I would just say is, you know, practice to try different things. You know, I know a, a big investor here locally that I know personally. They put a note on the door, just like a sticky note that says, hey, I want to talk to or um, uh, I need to talk about the neighbor. Right. That's all it says. Hey, give me a call. I need to talk about the neighbor. And then when they call them, they said, oh, yeah, I was talking to your neighbor. And they said, you know, they told me that this house was vacant and you might want to sell it. Right. So they turned it around. Yeah. But, the, but the note is so obscure that people are like, what, what about the neighbor? I've got a call. I don't know what this is about. Right. So. Mm -hmm. Keep doing different things is my point, you know, postcards, notes on the door, sticky notes, whatever, and just monitor what works best for you. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing, right? So <laughs> hop to do it, Bo, because because I want everybody to see like really what deal machine can do with the skip tracing and, and the information that it brings up because it's, it's, you know, it's my favorite skip tracing tool on the market. Yeah. And, and I think you you nailed it too of saying, Hey, what are those things that you can stand out that, that the, that the big companies are not going to be doing? Like they're not, you know, they're, they're buying a big list. They're just going to mass mail, max mass blast out, you know, marketing to all these people and try to get attention just by sheer numbers where when you're taking this strategy, you're out there, you're driving around first, use the fact that you're on boots on the ground in person to your advantage. So things like, you know, putting a sticky note on the door, putting a, you know, sticking a letter to the door like that. That's one great example or taking a picture of you with the house back there. That's another great example. Um, and then two, you're, you're finding the deals that they're not finding because again, you're finding those diamonds in the rough that, you know, aren't showing up on their mass list like that. So um, like people, you have that people, real, people uh -huh. want to deal with people, people want to yeah. deal with other people. They don't mm -hmm. want to big deal with big, you know, big corporations. Right. So mm -hmm. make it personal, make it, you know, you're just a local investor out, uh, you know, you know, don't exaggerate, don't go all, yeah. you know, be authentic. my yeah. team and all this stuff, just be you, right. I'm a local investor. I'm just a little guy out buying properties. You know, I buy, you know, two, you know, two a month, three a month. I saw your house and let's do something. Right they'll be more likely to deal with you than somebody goes, you know, we buy houses nationwide and all that. They don't want to deal with that. They want to deal with somebody like them. Right? Yep. Absolutely. Again, it's the, you know, relationship business, like we said. So, um, yeah. So, so showing it off inside the technology, how this thing works, um, you know, again, it's about consistency, right? So you got to build a con, you know, consistent number of leads as well as consistently marketing to them. And then secondly, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, being able to have that mix of marketing strategy there, um, you know, how to do that using the tech. Every time we add these leads and these blue pins pop up, they all go to the leads tab right here. And again, if you have them, if you're driving around on your mobile app, if you're doing it on the desktop, whenever you add leads, they show up on both regardless, either, either way, they're all going right here on the leads tab. When you jump into this, every time you click on a lead, you'll be able to see a couple buttons pop up right away. You'll see, I've got skip trace and I've got start mail and skip trace. Like David said, right there, you hit that, you know, that's going to come back and you've got, you know, a couple, let's see if anything comes up here. Uh, give it just a second. Again, having a little bit of a internet, uh, you know, issues today. Um, but going in here, you'll be able to, there you go. You've got four phone numbers that pop up right away. 
where if you click on that, you'll see things like, hey, is this a do not call number? Is this a landline, mobile? What's the caller ID? What's the situation with this property? And it really, uh, or with this uh, this property owner looking at the data right here. Um, so you'll be able to kind of use all this information real time for you inside the app and make it really easy for you to then once you skip trace, be able to reach out and give them a call, give them a text, uh, do something that is that short term marketing that you know we call short term meaning one to one marketing that makes you that requires you to get out there to reach out you know one by one and get in touch with people that way and kind of you know put some put some effort into it that way of you know being able to reach out and, and make that kind of outbound effort like that. So well, scroll, um, scroll back up there for a mat, for a minute, Matt. All mm -hmm. right. So on this one, you've got one one mailing address, right? You've mm -hmm. got four phone numbers, which are going to show you, you know, are they a cell number? Are they, you know, are they active and all that stuff, right? And mm -hmm. then you've got what is it to say one email address? This one doesn't have an email, but I would oh, say right. I the majority of the time. All right, but yeah. but I wanted to tell, time will. Yeah, I wanted to tell you know everybody. I've gotten a lot of deals from email, right? So it, it, it's really wholesalers don't utilize email like they should. Mm -hmm. But I've got you know I've done this and script trace people and gotten the emails that you know have been associated with them. And then I send the same letter, basically, that I put on their door. I say, hey, uh, I'll put in the subject line, I'll put the property address, right? And then in the email, I'll just put, hey, I'm a local investor. Uh, went by the property you had on, you know, on Concord Street or Connecticut, Connecticut Street. Uh, looked vacant, right? And I was wondering mm -hmm. if you'd be interested in selling it. And I just keep doing that. And people email me back and go, you know what? Matter of fact, I am interested in selling it. And the, the great thing is, you know, because they might not be getting mail for some reason, but they still get email, right? Or they still yep. get a text message, right? So yeah, utilize emails because people read email, right? It's a great point. Yeah, that, that's why it's so valuable to have multiple marketing strategies there. Some people might pay attention to email, but never get a phone call, never get or, you know, ignore the phone call or never, uh, you know, never look at their direct mail, you know, what have you. So yeah. um, you're giving yourself more opportunities to get in front of them in the way that they prefer to communicate. Um, you know, one thing I do want to mention is if you're using Alma here, uh, if you're on Deal Machine Pro, you know, say you say you skip trace, you get all those phone numbers. Well, great. If you want to actually text them, you know, one great option is, oh, we've got right here. Help me write an SMS message. So you can click on that. And right away, you've got a little message you can copy to your, to your, your phone and be able to text it right out. Um, you could even come in and say, you know, help me write five more SMS messages and things like that will help you kind of tweak it and be able to you can have this conversation with the assistant inside Deal Machine to kind of build the right wording and build, you know, uh, create something that, that really reflects your personality and, and your preferred method of communication with people. So, um, you know, I, I'd say use Alma in that way in terms of being able to kind of help you put together, uh, you know, great outreach. Uh, you know, when you do uh, reach out to, to to sellers like that, I will mention like when you get on that that call with them, and we can talk about this for here just you know in a little bit as well, or for a little bit as well. But when you do actually have that first initial call with the seller, really thinking through and asking them great, just kind of very open ended questions around, you know, what is their motivation to sell? You know, are, are they looking to sell? Or are they motivated to sell? Um, you know, what is the condition of their property? So looking at, you know, questions around the condition of the properties, anything, you know, when, when, when did they last update things, you know, things like that, um, you know, timeline to sell, like what's the urgency, you know, what is the, their timeline to be able to, to do this transaction and then finally getting to price. So th those kind of big pillars are, I know are areas that we talk about and, you know, we'll do uh, here at the end of the call, you know, we'll, we'll make sure to give you guys a bonus of a little bit of a giveaway, you know, from, from us on that stuff. Um, Oh, you know, I'm David, you right now. Yeah, you've got some awesome stuff to give away, I'm man. Dropping, Please do that. I'm dropping a couple uh, uh, scripts in the uh, chat. There All we right. go. One's for one's a buyer uh, buyer script. One's a seller. Uh, you know, for buyers. One's for sellers. But everything you need to ask them on there and um, um, important tip. I like to tell everybody that's on that on that page. But when you call somebody and use these scripts, record your call, right? Put a phone recorder on your on your phone and record it. And then when you're going through the script, you can ask them a question, let them respond, but you're not busy writing it down. And that way you can 
still talk with them and have, you know focus on what they're saying. And then after the call's done, go back, listen to the call, and fill in the and fill in the script and get all the information down. But when you're on the call with them, if you you know you're like me, you can't do two things at once, right? I can't write and listen. You know when I when I talk to Matt, I can't listen to what he's saying and and do something. <laughs> but, but but you know do that. Do the phone re- recorder record the call, just read the script, ask them the questions, and then go back later and fill it in. There we go. Love it. So uh, if you want that link, if you're watching on social media uh, and wanting that link, again, make sure to subscribe to the actual uh, challenge. It's dealmachine.com slash toolbox challenge, and you'll be able to get that link. I'll send that out via email to everybody uh, along with the replays, along with the the homework and all that stuff. So uh, make sure to, to you know register there for free. Um, and you still have time to jump into this and complete, you know, the homework for the, for the grand prize giveaway here. Um, so, you know, having those conversations, that's a great place to start. Uh, you talked about being able to leave a note on the door. One other thing inside deal machine, if you're using deal machine pro, uh, say you have any kind of outside list in deal machine. So let me, let me open one for you guys, for you guys here. Um, if you have any kind of outside list in Deal Machine, which you can actually add and import leads to Deal Machine as well. So if you have, you know, a list from anywhere else, you know, prior, um, you can do this as well. Where you know, if you're out driving for dollars and leaving notes on the door, that's great. You know, you already knocked that out. But if you want to take this strategy and you have another list that you want to do that to as well, if you're on Pro, you also get the drive this list feature right here. So I can pull up a list like I just did here. Hit open lists, pull up any list right there. And then when that pops open, you see I've got 43 current leads. Well, hey, I can hit drive this list and it'll import GPS right there on my phone and give me the exact route of saying, hey, you've got 43 leads. It's going to take you one hour, 21 minutes and hit start driving. And it's going to GPS direct you every single turn along the way to drive a route as efficiently as possible. So if you're going to door knock, if you're going to leave a sticky note on the door, door hanger, leave a note on the door, anything like that in person, um, which is a great thing to do that would be able to, to stand out above and beyond what a big company would do. Um, and you know, most cases like, Hey, go do that and, and use that drive this list feature to be as efficient as possible um, to plan out that route. Want to hear the tip for getting the, the best, the best deals, the best list ready. Do it. If you guys tune back in on Thursday. All right. I'll tell you how a lot of people go after water shutoff lists. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, but there's a better list that is low water usage list, right? Where you can request a a list of properties that use under so many cubic feet of water because a lot of vacant houses don't get the water shut off. There's just nobody using it. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know, somebody might go in and use the sink a little bit or use, you know, flush the toilet or whatever. So I, on Thursday, I'll show everybody how to get the low water usage list, okay? You can get that list from the municipalities, right? For Usually for free, all right? And then you can load it up to Deal Machine. You can overlay it with vacant properties. So you have vacant and your list and your low water usage list, which is going to verify it's vacant. And then you can go into the map router, route your list, and drive to each of those properties and put it Love that. Boom. Right. There we go. That's so a new one. Too. Thursday, I like that. I'll give you all the stuff you need to request those lists from the city. There we go. And, and on top of we're doing the grand prize giveaway, you know, we're going to continue with these, these trainings there. So um, would love to be able to, to, you know, do that and be able to make it really uh, actionable for you guys there too. It's something a little different, but um Cool. So that's the goal here as well is, you know, get out there. You can skip trace and get in touch that way. You can do the drive this list feature. And then again, that's kind of the short-term marketing stuff, the long-term marketing strategy, the automation, the power of using tech to kind of set it and forget it. Um, In addition to all this stuff, one easy way to reach out to people and just keep it on repeat going and going is if you hit view lead and then hit this start mail button right here. When you hit start mail, you can then go in and it's going to show you exactly what postcard it's going to send. You can customize the wording on it. You can customize what it looks like. Um, you know, one tip that David touched on is when you add a lead to deal machine on the mobile app, you'll notice it'll pop up and say, do you want to take a picture of this property? 
that is a big one because if you take a picture, that picture that you take is going to pop up and appear here on the postcard instead of the, the Google street image, it's going to be your actual picture. And especially if it's you in front of the house going like this, you know, and like doing a little selfie right there, like that is going to stand out. Right. Um, so, you know, being able to you know, uh, automatically have those upload onto the postcard and then come in here and say, yeah, send them this postcard every 21 days, send them six times, you know, really adjust how often you send it. Um, you can go in and actually uh, go, we have a mail center up here on the mail tab and really use this to optimize, you know, your spend on how often you're sending, uh, you know, postcards and wh where they are, have they been sent yet? You know, what is the actual uh, postcard design? You know, we've got like nine or 10 default templates in here. So you can do a lot of really cool stuff inside here to get really specific on the wording and design and all that stuff. But regardless, you just go in there, you hit add lead, you hit send mail, and then you can automatically send that postcard as often, often as you like to keep you top of mind, to help you continue to follow up and that way you already have the best lead out there. You already have the one with the rundown house that other people aren't going to get out there and find. Now you're staying top of mind. So that way you are right place, right time when they are ready to sell. Yep. Um, you, yeah. You note yeah. on the door, you send them a text, right? You, you, you maybe emailed them. And now you set on a, a postcard campaign where you send them a postcard, you know, four or five times in a row, you know, over the span yep. of a couple months or something like that. It's surprising. A lot of people that have vacant properties, I put notes on doors and had people call me a year later. A That's year crazy. Later. Some people yeah. call you that day. Some people call you in a week and some it's months and years later. So just keep doing it. And that's the, you know, that's the secret is just keep doing it, keep doing it. And, yep. and eventually you've got, you've just got all these leads coming in, right? Could be from a week ago, could have been from three or four months ago, but they're just all flowing in. And that's the power of using automation there is that you can put, do that one-to-one -one outreach. Like you said, the, the you know, do, do, notes on the door, the door knock, the calls, text, whatever, what have you. Um, and then if you combine that with the long-term outreach and that way, you know, you have this kind of initial strategy to get in front of them and then you stay top of mind and you're con consistently following up. I mean, again, that's what the guy who's done 400 plus deals using deal machine, Ryan Haywood, he's using the default templates to do exactly that. You know, he'll reach out and then he'll send that postcard once a month and, you know, sit back and wait for those calls to come in, whether it be next month or, you know, a year out. So, um, you know, is there, is there anything else you want to touch on there before we get to the homework for you guys too? No, let's do it. Let's get cool. moving. Awesome. So again, recap, you got the short-term marketing outreach, the call text, door knock, sticky note, all that. Combine that with the long-term mar marketing outreach, the set it and forget the, the scaling you know, strategy like this. Um, you know, If you're going to uh, take action on this and want to qualify for that grand prize giveaway, you got to finish the homework by Thursday at you know 4 p.m. Eastern time. That's when we're going live for day seven. So between now and then, what is that, 72 hours or so from now, your goal is to take all this and to reach out in at least one way, reach out to your leads. So that could be, you know, send them a postcard. That could be give them a call. That could be, you know, door knock and leave a sticky note on the door. What have, you know, we've given you a ton of different stuff. I know uh, Michael Allen got in there and said, you just gave me a five problem marketing strategy for winning, loving it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> awesome. Like, Hey, choose between those five things or, or, you know, if you want to be an overachiever and, you know, do the two prong approach, that's even better. But at least reach out in at least one way to all those leads. Pay attention to your email because I'm going to follow up the email and say, hey, submit your homework through email. But it's going to be uh, reaching out via marketing to those leads through this to hey, help, you know, uh, help you qualify for that, that final grand prize giveaway. So um, make sure to use, I mean, David, that that the, the contracts and the scripts that you give out, that is awesome. Like that is such a good way to help people kind of get that confidence and get out there and, and be okay having those conversations and getting uncomfortable, right? Um, you've got some stuff to guide you. You know, you have Alma, if you're using Deal Machine Pro, you've got Alma, you can ask it questions on, you know, hey, what should I ask the seller here? What should I do here? You know, it helps you kind of, you know, you have resources that way too. But that's the goal is, you know, going out there and be able to just reach out to all of your leads in at least one way on that driving for dollars list that you've just built. Or, you know, if you need to catch up on that, get those hundred leads and then reach out right there. So. All right. So we talked about, um, we talked about the contracts, uh, the contract bonus I'm going to give talked about mm -hmm. the free website bonus. So I'm going to drop the free website bonus now. Okay. I'm going to drop everybody the link for it. So if you don't have a website already, I, I put this together because I know a lot of people, you know, 
you spend a lot of money on stuff in, in wholesaling and in real estate. So I wanted to give everybody a good website um, that, you know, so when, when you're putting notes on doors or you're, you know, you're doing your marketing, you can put a website on there. So on deal machine, you could put a link to your website and all that stuff. So right there uh, is a link in the chat for a free website. I, I built the template on a, a system called uh, system IO which if you have one website on system IO, there's no cost to having it. You can hook up one domain. So you can go in there, use that link. And I give you all the instructions to set up your system IO account, how to download the template, how to get it all set up. Okay. Step by step. So you can do that on there and put it on your postcards. Right. So, so, um, you know, when you send it out, you know, people don't want to, you know, call you necessarily, then you can have them go to your website, fill out the form and, and do it that way. So, and then on Thursday, I'll give the uh, contracts page with all the instructions for your purchase agreement, your assignment, your JV, your option agreement, everything you need to wholesale with all the video, you know, the videos I've made explaining how to use each one of the contracts and I'm going to drop another website template that everybody can use on Thursday. So awesome. Love it. And I see some really good questions coming in the chat too. So keep asking them guys. We'll stick around and answer those for you too. Um, I, I do want to mention before, before we get to that uh, grand prize again, it's you had to be there on Thursday. So complete the homework, you know, pay attention to your email on how to do that on how to turn in the homework. And then uh, which again, the homework, you know, just to reiterate for you guys, you, you have their, your list of hundred leads. It's reach out to those hundred leads. So, Go build that list, go reach out to that list, go start taking the right actions and, and use kind of this mixed marketing strategy to get out there. And you've got to be on the live on Thursday to, to be able to win that, that grand prize too. So make sure to pay attention for, to the email for all that stuff. Um, I will mention uh, we do have those two special bonuses for you guys. So we've been talking about this throughout the challenge as well, where it's dealmachine.com slash toolbox. If you're wanting to use just the seven day free trial, the 30 bucks. So that's the free skip traces, which we showed off today. And that's free postcards. So if you want to be able to basically on us, use the tech and start marketing to people and go try to go land a deal for free, if you can, like, Hey, we've had people do that in the free trial that way. Uh, go, do, you know, use this to be able to, to this bonus to be able to help you go do that uh, in, a, in a way that going through our website wouldn't. It's just dealmachine.com slash toolbox. Um, uh, one last thing I'll mention, I cover those four pillars of like general things of the ask sellers. We'll give this to you guys today too. So on top of the scripts, on top of the contracts that David's given you, we've got a little ebook as well of just, Hey, here are those general categories to ask sellers about and kind of help you along too. use all this stuff together to really help you make sure that you're, you're as confident as possible in those conversations. So if you start that free trial today, or if you already have started and you're going through the challenge right here, we'll make sure that you guys get that download too. So just give you as much free stuff as possible here. Um, and David already covered that bonus. So he's, you're already good to go. So hey, <laughs> I just keep dropping stuff, right? <laughs> love it, man. So we will, uh, again, pay attention to your email. We'll send out all this stuff over email to you. Um, if, you know, last thing I want to mention, the other, the other uh, annual bonus that we've been talking about here is if you want to do this and not just do it for a couple months, but really make it a big change for you and really invest in yourself and say, hey, I'm, I'm going to do this till I find a deal and, you know, pay for this X number of times over. Um, going through our website, you would be paying almost double for this, but make sure to go through this dealmachine.com slash toolbox special link. Um, if you have any issues with that, my email is matt at dealmachine.com. You know, uh, I know if we've, if we've had people go through, through and try to do that um, with an old email address, sometimes you, it'll get stuck there. So make sure to reach out to me direct, but um, that'll give you an entire year of Deal Machine Pro which, you know, that covers all the stuff we showed off today with the three users, the Alma AI, the drive this list feature, the highlights, you know, all the MLS data, all that stuff. Um, you'll get list builder on top of that, which is, we talked about last time. You can pull lists in addition to driving for dollars up to 10,000 leads and unlimited different types of lists. And those are smart lists too. So they're updated every single day. And, you know, if a lead fits your criteria or falls off, it'll update accordingly without you having to touch anything. And then uh, the free marketing with it too. So that normally would be over $1,800 through our website. Through this, it's $990. So it's 45% off. So make sure to go directly through that if you're actually going to don't want to pay every month. If you're like, yeah, I'm going to stick with this long term. Hey, you know, go through that link and that's going to give you a way better deal than it would through our site. So 
Um, I'll put that link up here for you guys in the webinar jam too. Um, here are the QR codes for you guys. And uh, let's, you know, I know we're a few minutes over. Let's, let's answer some Q and a David, if you, uh, if yeah, you have yeah, anybody, yeah, everybody's got a question, uh, throw it, throw it in there. So, and also let us know if, if you've, uh, you know, you're enjoying this so far, if you think you're getting some value out of it. Absolutely. So, uh, Annette, I see you popped in there. Um, yeah. Single family homes uh, is what you're looking for. Vacant, distressed, uh, multifamily, you know, anything, you know, anything that an investor would be looking to buy. Right. And most investors are buying, you know, houses either they can buy and hold as a rental property or houses they can fix up and flip and, you know, and make some money off of on a uh, flip deal. So um, that's that's where we're at on what we're looking for. Um, see. Ralph, right. uh, uh, Ralph's asking, uh, Matt, can you put in the different ways to contact property owners again? So, so let's yep. go over those real quick again. Yeah. So you've got uh, what we call a short term, like one-to-one -one marketing, which that would be like skip tracing inside the app. And you know, the point of that is you're paying in our database, you're getting back phone numbers, email addresses, mailing addresses, where you can cold call those, you could text, you could door knock, you could sticky you note, know, you could email them, you could do a variety of things with that information. Um, and then combine that with long-term marketing, which means something you can automate and just set it and forget it. So if you hit direct mail inside the deal machine, if you hit send mail, you can then just customize that and it'll say how often you want to send it. You, you know, you can just mark and say, hey, send it once a month for you know 12 months, and then you don't have to worry about it. You know, it's automatically just gonna do that for you each month. So um, you know, that, that kind of mix of marketing approaches right there together is, is a, is a winning strategy for you. So. Cool. James, uh, James, he might be just saying this because he won the prize today, but he said, this is easy. We're offering real value, not what gurus offer, but that might, you know, it's like, kind of like we bought his comment. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, James, congrats again though. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Um, All right. Good info. Let's see what else we got. See another one you want to grab there? Yeah. Uh, let's see. VF Swift said, uh, if you started yesterday, you're still giving the extra 20 bucks. Um, you know, reach, <laughs> James let's put LOL. Uh, VF, reach out to me direct uh, and I'll see what I can do with my team. So, uh, you know, always happy to help you guys out. Uh, let's see here. Really good feedback in the comments. Thanks, guys. Um do you recommend using your personal info to contact them? I don't have an LLC with the postcard marketing. Uh, the app just plugs in the info uh, from the app. Um, how would you recommend that, David? I okay. So me personally, if you you know if you don't want them calling your you know your cell number or something, you, I mean if you want to go the free route, you can get a number through Google Voice, right, and forward it to your phone. You could do that. Um, you know, address. <laughs> Personally, I use a P.O. box um, for my address on a postcard as a return address because I don't want, you know, of course, you don't want people rolling up to your house or, you know, something like that. So I would use a different address. I would use a P.O. box. I would use something like that. And then, uh, you know, on the on the number, phone number, that's your choice. You know, if you want people, I've had people call my cell number when I started um, uh, wholesaling. You know, I just put my my cell number on it. Right. I mean, like worst case scenario, if you give somebody weird, you can block block their number. Right. You know, but, yeah. um, you know, I just use my personal number. But if you want to get, you know, a Google voice number, you could do that, too. So, yeah, I think Google voice is the number one uh, you know, most common thing we see people doing. If you go to the mail tab and then postcards, you'll see all these pop up and you can edit the design there. And if you go to edit design, you can then mess with your or, or uh, update your signature down here. And that's where you're talking about like, oh, you can change your address, your city, you know, your, your, your phone number, your image, your signature image. So all kinds of cool stuff uh, to make it, you know, reflect different numbers and, 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 you know, different signatures and things like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So hopefully that helps out there. Uh, Michael Allen says, thank you. Just, just gave me a five prong marketing uh, strategy for winning. And that's, yeah. uh, well, that's it. It's honestly, all these things work, right? Postcards work, door letters work, emails work, text messages work, calling people work. Just do them all. Do them all. Everything you can fit in there. So do it. And the consistency is the key, like we talked about there. But um, yeah, and JS, I appreciate the suggestion there. Uh, you know, we do have a YouTube channel that has, I mean, a thousand videos with 
a ton of demos and things like that. So um, I'll make sure to link to, I'll find a link to that for you guys as well. Um, so that way, if you, uh, if I was going through this and it you know, was a little small on your screen, maybe then these demos will also help you out. So um, good tip and suggestion. Uh, William Martin said that they're cracking down on unsolicited text messaging. Yeah. So one thing I do want to mention, we, we actually in deal machine, we actually uh, developed out a text messaging software at one point, like years ago. And we shut it down on purpose because as we were getting it out there, that's when all that started to happen. And we realized like, Hey, this is such a gray area. Let's not mess with that. Um, The biggest thing that you can get busted for is if you're sending out a a one click message and you send it to like a hundred or a thousand people, so the one-off messages are, are much, much more effective and, and, you know, in, in, you know, in the, in the eyes of the law, the right thing to do versus like you, you know, spamming. Yeah. Out, right. So a lot um, of people yeah. doing that. I've never been, I've never been a fan of ringless voicemail. I've never been a big fan of bulk text messaging where, where mm-hmm. people are sending like thousands, thousands of, of texts a day. It's annoying, you know, and I know that anything that annoys me, I don't, you know, practice in my marketing efforts. But, you know, this information is all in the public domain, like these phone numbers and everything. So if you, you know, if you text somebody, you know, a mass text to thousands of people, it's kind of different than texting somebody and going, hey, Matt, uh, I'm in, you know, I'm sitting in front of your house right now over on, you know, Maple Street. Are you interested in selling this, right? That's, That's a different kind of text message than, you know, just mass texting. So like Matt says, it's a little bit, you know, more acceptable when you're marketing that way. For sure. Um, I think the only other one I see is from uh, Jaina, I believe uh, Jaina Gibson Clifton said talking or asking about how to calculate rehab costs to make sure we don't go over in an offer. Um, we will be covering that on the day seven training. We're gonna be talking about um, how to do that inside the app, but in the meantime, D- David, do you have anything, any other resources that you can point to um, for, for, you know, uh, calculating offers and things? Well, um, the one great one is built rate. It's an AI assistant built right into deal machine. Mm-hmm. There we go. That I like it. No, that was good. <laughs> um, I ha- I don't try to remember if it's live or not. I have a, a video on that on rehab uh, calculating costs. I will, uh, I'll make sure we have that Friday or um, Thursday for everybody. I'll make sure it's live so I can give it to everybody on Thursday. So what David's talking about there is, let's see, calculate the offer price right here. Um, And again, hopefully the, I'm having a little bit of internet issues on my end, but um, you know, whenever you actually are able to come into here and you let me pick a different lead for you guys. Um, Click on the lead, bottom right corner again, it'll pop up. And, you know, whenever this actually loads up, yeah, we're having basically going in here. If you calculate the offer price, that's going to actually come come back with feedback on, you know, max level offer. And here's the formula I'm using and that kind of stuff. So we are going to deep. Oh, here we go. We are going to deep dive into that next call as well. Um, But make sure that if you're using pro, you've got this at your disposal, too, where it'll come in. You know, the repair cost section, that is one thing that's going off our general property data. Um, so I would uh, really ask those deep, deep dive questions of that person um, around the condition of the property, which, again, you know, pay attention to your email. We're going to be sending that out, you know, through, uh, you know, David's information, through the ebook that we're sharing as well. Um, if you start your free trial today. So make sure to get, get rolling and then um, pay attention to your email and, uh, you know, you'll get you'll get all that to kind of couple with it. So um, hopefully that helps there a little bit for you. Stall for just a minute. <laughs> Stall for just a minute. Okay. I'm well, gonna look for something. Yeah, I love the v, v, uh, VF Swift. There says I love Alma. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking to see if I can drop that right now. The um, rehab uh, link. Do it. Re- yeah, calculating a rehab uh, link. Yep. Yeah, I'll find again that Deal Machine YouTube channel actually you know what we have one area that we actually have them all compiled to so if you go to content.dealmachine.com i just put it in the chat there there's like a little tutorial section there's a little like uh, driving for dollars course section where it's got like all of our tutorials lined up uh that's a great place that elise is awesome on our youtube channel talking about you know here's how to go build your list here's how to you know basically a lot of the stuff we've covered here so if you want to use that as another place to save, uh, you know, demos and things, uh, you know, bookmark that link. So 
All right, I just dropped the link. Uh, estimating rehab costs. It's in my uh, on my website. Excuse Thanks. the fact that there's no pretty pictures on that page yet, but it outlines how to uh, how to calculate your uh, rehab costs, even if you don't have any experience. I've, I built a or uh, laid out a, a single page checklist. I believe it's single page, one or two pages, but a checklist where you can go down mark what, what it needs and, and how to estimate it. So even if you've never estimated a rehab in your life, that will help you out. There we go. I, I think that's it I've got on my end. So uh, anything else you want to say before we that's, see everybody on Thursday? That's all I've got, man. That's uh, I think we covered a lot. Awesome, guys. Well, uh, again, I'll send out these replays here ASAP for you. Uh, you know, Pay attention to your email with all that. Um, go out there and, and, you know, one, make sure you have that list of hundred leads. So you got to get to that and then start marketing to them just one way each, whether it's, you know, call, text, email, door, knock, send mail, whatever you do, just get out there and take that next step. And, um, you know, we've, you've got the contracts to back it up. You've got the scripts to back it up. You've got the ebook I'm going to send out. You've got a lot of things at your disposal on how to have that conversation with the seller and, and just have that mindset of asking great questions and try to solve their problem, you know? So, um, hey, we'll, we'll uh, be, be same time, same place on Thursday. Uh, Thursday. Make Eastern. sure you're all back here because we've we've given away a lot of stuff, and I think Thursday's the the, the best is yet to come, right? We oh yeah, a lot of stuff grand prize too. Yep. Yeah. So awesome, guys. Right. We'll see you then. Thanks, everybody.